morning children how are you are you fine very nice in our previous class in our previous class we learned about the punctuation marks we learn no we learn about the punctuation marks what are the punctuation marks how many punctuation marks we learn in your previous class we learn about capital letter full stop comma question mark and also exclamatory mark exclamation mark we learn about that now already five punctuation marks are completed in our previous class today i'm going to explain about the about the hyphen 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 is also one of the mark hyphen means small line it is shorter than your minus what is the symbol of minus this now it is shorter than the minus understand me adam indara minus itla undu ila undu this is the symbol of minus no ee hyphen itla indulo half undu smaller than the minus is the hyphen hyphen is a smaller than the minus it is used when is hyphen is used hyphen is used when when we are using a, along with the describing words and also the noun describing words means adjective adjective when we are discussing eppadithe adjective and also noun both will come together adjective noun rendu ostayo appudu hyphen irukkavali here blue dressed girl blue dressed girl we have to keep hyphen after blue okay do you know adjectives good girl how is it girl a um, girl ila ante cheppandi good good is the adjective he is a bad boy he is a bad boy bad is adjective adjective we will explain about the noun noun quality a boy ila ante what boy noun ikkada bad boy boy is a noun boy is a noun how is a boy bad boy bad is describing about the noun ante noun ela ante boy ila ante vaadu ani cheppindi kada idi adjective bad is the adjective boy is the noun so when the noun comes before the sorry when the adjective comes before the noun then we have to keep hyphen eppudu noun kante mundu raavali em raavali adjective if the adjective comes before the before the noun then we have to keep hyphen between the adjective and also the noun a madhyam an pettali if the noun comes bad dressed boy boy bad boy bad noun came first adjective came last then we should not use that but the example is given chocolate covered peanut chocolate covered peanuts peanut chocolate Peanut also. Here, chocolate covered peanuts. Actually, chocolate is a noun. Here, covered peanuts is an adjective. Here, describing word. In this case, we should not use. इकड़ा मैंने बैठ दूँ. इन दो को the noun came first. We should not use like that. We should not use 
like that. Okay? Bad boy. Good girl. Good girl. In the goal. You can be touch hyphen. In the country. Good. Adjective mundo chindi. Now, next to chindi. That we have to give hyphen. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, this is in one case. And also, when you are saying about the compound nouns, 41, 42, 31, 81, these are the 81 is there. 80 plus 1, 81. 80 is one noun, 1 is another noun. 80 plus 1 is 81. It is one more single noun. 80, 80 and one noun. One and ten, two noun. Friend, you will tell me that. Eighty one single, two noun, which is that? This is a compound, compound noun, compound noun. If you will remember, hyphen will be there. I can keep hyphen in the in between two nouns. It is indicating that this is a compound noun. In numbers, I say, you will remember, I can put coach. Next keyboard. Key plus board. Keyboard. Keyboard. We are typing the letters on the keyboard. The typing the letters on the keyboard. Key is one word. Here, key is one word. And board is one more word. Keyboard is another word. Key and the key. Okay. How do we open the lock? With the key. When I'm key to, in just some lock open this stuff. We open the lock with the key. Board means we are using. Board is used for writing. Keyboard. In, if we join both words together, both nouns together, it is one more single noun. Keyboard. Keyboard and this one. And type just a little keyboard. It is a one more single noun. It is a compound noun. Then you know what? Compound noun. Keyboard, blackboard, okay, rainbow. These are the compound nouns. Math stick, iron box, iron plus box, iron box, rainbow, watchman. These are the compound nouns. When we are in when we are writing compound nouns in the middle of two words, two nouns. We can keep a hyphen. A chinna hyphen can be coach. Next, when we are writing the when we are use a hyphen to write compound words. These are the compound words. Resign also compound word. Re plus sign. Re malli sign. And the sign chair. Resign is give one more meaning. Resign chair. One meaning this thing. Ekarna. And hyphen is changed. Okay? Um, hyphen is complicated. Next step. Understand that. Where we have to keep hyphen? Between the. Between the compound noun. We can use the hyphen. When we are writing about compound nouns. Okay? And also. When the adjective and also noun, when we are writing at, at a time, adjective and also noun, the adjective has to come before the noun. Noun can be adjective mundunte, a program and a hyphen is changed. Okay, next. Round brackets. Examples are given ex minister, self assured, all inclusive. These are the compound nouns. Give any compound nouns. I can use chaser. Hyphen. Okay. Next. Round brackets. Round brackets are also called as parentheses. Parentheses. Round brackets. Round brackets. Are also called as Parenthesis. Okay. These are the round brackets. These are the round brackets. 
here. This is the symbol of round brackets. Are mainly used to separate information that is not essential to the meaning of the rest of the sentence. If you remove the brackets, bracket the content, the sentence would still make perfectly good sense. Uh, we can use the round brackets. Actually, round brackets are not essential. Round brackets are not essential, not important. Essential means important. They are not important. For our recognition, to our understanding, here, I am giving a book. I am giving a book to you. I am giving a book to you. Actually, in the bracket, I gave English. English means I am giving information. A book is to information channel. I am giving a book to you. I am giving a book to you. English book. English is written in the brocket. If I rub English also. I rub that word. I am giving a book to you. The meaning is changed. I am giving a book to you. I am giving a book to you. I am giving a book to you. Is there any different meaning? No, the meaning won't be changed if the bracket is there or not. And the law, word unna, word like poina, meaning change over The meaning won't be changed. The word which is in the brackets, it won't change the meaning. It won't change the meaning. And that meaning will change. Why we are writing it to English? Because to understand, when understand person English and meta. A book is not like understand person English and other. Okay, but if it, if it is there also or not also, the sentence means sentence meaning won't be changed. Okay, next. Some of the examples are given here. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world. Actually, Nana, while we are reading, the sentence, the word which is in the bracket, we won't be read. We should not read it. Understand me? While we are reading a sentence, and I made a sentence, Chadavit Taplo, a bracket lo untundigada, a word which is in the bracket, we should not be pronounced. That Chadavad. We should not. The word which is in the bracket is give us idea. We should not read that. Here, Mount Everest. 8,848 meters is in the brocket. That's what I am not reading it. Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world. Understand? If you give yeah, Mount Everest 8,848 meters is the highest peak in the world also, will give the same meaning. If you remove that also, it will give the same meaning. Understand what the meaning is? That is 8,848. That is the meaning. Like the center's meaning change. The center's meaning is perfectly good. If it is there or also not there. And the one, like the one, Bracket lo unna word unna like a poina sentence meaning matra change one. The brackets which the word which is in the bracket won't change the sentence meaning. Next, there are several books on the subject. There are several books. Several books will be on the subject. We have so many books: work book, activity book, value one, value two, like that. For each subject, three four books are there. Okay, books. Several books on the subject. In the bracket, see page number 120 is given. 
what is the need no, no need to see which is in the bracket it won't change the sentence meaning a bracket lo unna change avadu first manake em istundi c page number 120 idea ichindi emana idea ichindi 120 page ni chudandi ani cheppindi it gave the idea that's it it won't change the sentence meaning okay next apostrophe next one is apostrophe apostrophe is also one of the symbol uh, they are used to in a possessive form possessive form of nouns means here ram ram's book here we are saying that this book belongs to ramu okay where what we are, ram's book means ram's possessive case this is a possessive case means the book is belongs to ramu chepindi the book of ramu em raichra the book of ramu means ramu's book the book of ramu ni ram's book and as apostrophe which is rasar this apostrophe is saying that it is belongs to this person apostrophe is saying that it is belong to this person and chepindi sita's pen means the pen belongs to sita the apostrophe s is saying that apostrophe s is saying that pen is belongs to sita em ani cheppindi a pen evaru sambandhinchindi ani cheppindi sita ga cheppindi okay raj rahul's computer rahul's computer whose computer is this it is rahul computer apostrophe is saying that this thing is belongs to one person this person in a possessive cases these are possessive means belongings belongings ever sambandhinchu cheptene possessives in this cases we will use apostrophe and also when we are writing short forms when we are writing short forms mm. here do not do not is the expanded form when we are writing the short form don't we can write as don't don't is a short form apostrophe is used here when we are writing the short form apostrophe is used understand me apostrophe we use this term short form sir sir but idi edemo expanded form kada ikkada em rasa nenu short form rasa nenu short form type lo kuda apostrophe ni use chesaru shall shall not shall not is short shall not is short like this next did not didn't didn't did not means didn't did didn't are or not aren't aren't these are the short forms will not won't will not means won't ah understand me adhe vidhar meku eppudu use chesa nenu short forms when while we are writing the short forms we will use apostrophe appudu possessive case lalo and also when we are writing the short forms we will use apostrophe okay next one
Kumpulan. Kumpulan is used. Kumpulan means two dots. Kumpulan is used when we are saying that this all the things are belongs to belongs to one one thing. Your pen, pencil, eraser, sharpener, books. These are all belongs to the stationery. Stationery and day Monday. Stationery contains. Stationery and a bookstall. Stationery means a stall which is having pens, pencils, eraser, books which are needed to write. Which a student is used. Maps. A student's away the use to sado, our nitty unkai. Stationary. Stationary, ni, no better. Ch. We had a cube, colon, and we had to write all the things. What is the stationary is having? The stationary is having pen, pencil, eraser, sharpeners, books. Maps, globe, and uh, what do you use? Charts, remaining all, etc. Means these all belongs to, these all the nouns belongs to one noun. So, at this case, it will use colon. And also, in some cases, when we are writing uh, uh, minutes, hours and seconds. Here, what is time now? 10 hour, 10, 60, 26 minutes and uh, 34 seconds. <coughs> when we are writing about the hours, minutes, seconds. Sorry, hours, minutes and seconds. <coughs> we have to use colon. Colons are used when we are writing about the hour, minute and second. It is saying that first one is 10 is saying that 10 hours. 26 is saying that 26 minutes. 34 is saying that seconds. Exactly. You are saying the time exactly. What's time now? Now it is 11. 11 means 11 o'clock. 42 minutes and 38 seconds. You are saying the exact time. When you are writing the exact time, we have to use columns. Exact time as it happens when the columns you see it. Okay? It's over. Here. What is time in the clock? What is time? 11, 45 minutes and 10 seconds. Exact time. Next. Quotation marks. Oh, quotation marks are are called as invalid commas. We can tell in Charles are invalid commas. Pet called on. Quotation marks. Quotation marks. These are the quotation marks. Like Ilachi. These are the quotation marks. Okay. Ah, quotation marks means inverted commas. Inverted commas start. And then, inverted commas close. And then, and then uh, inverted commas are called as quotation marks. When we have to use, use the quotation marks, when you listen on person's words directly, our uh, quotation marks are used to quote another person's words exactly. Uh, quotation marks are used uh, 
when you are saying the other person's words directly me mummy matter in there your mother said you go and buy a milk package your mother said the and you are saying exactly that words to me me mummy matter lo na direct ga cheptunu em antuna my mother said the comma quotation mark starts my mother said what do your mother said the go and buy the pala package milk package go and buy milk milk package close what are your mother's mother's words in mummy words and the come my she sorry go and buy go and buy a milk packet these are your mother's words only what are your mother words you have to keep them in the quotation marks okay teacher asked me teacher asked me what do you teacher asked da open your book open your book what i asked da open your book क्टली those words are those sentences we have to keep in the inverted commas okay my father said the said the to complete the homework what your father said the daddy emana me daddy emana cheppadu my father said the adi kaadu em annadu exactly ya my father what said he to complete the homework complete cheyamani adigadu if i ask to complete to complete the homework my father asked me to complete the homework to complete complete your homework so complete to complete the homework my father said the complete the homework we are going to padu complete cheyamani adiga adigada ee words maatrame mane endutale in what comes we do complete the homework okay and next uh, i said to my sister don't play i warned my sister i warned my mummy mummy chelli thanu em annara don't play what words you said da mummy chelli thanu em anna don't play that don't play only only don't play don't play has to keep in the inverted commas means quotation marks what is matter we manamo quotation marks put down okay understand me did you understand hmm. today's class is completed totally punctuation marks are completed tomorrow we are going to learn workbook okay stay home and uh, be safe bye